A lot of school districts have stepped up security or taken another look at their protocols, with some schools going as far as making arrests for threats or having a gun on campus. Joe Pettiker is live in McKinney, where the community gathered for a vigil tonight. Well, Chris, we have been here before. We have seen the sad progression of events. The tragedy happens, then we learn about the victims, then we see the vigils, and then finally, all the questions in search of an answer. None of us want to be here. None of us want to be here. A tragedy 300 miles away can even be felt here. This is certainly a time to hug your own kids. In McKinney on Thursday night, a candlelight vigil for the 21 lives lost in Uvalde. Another reminder of the recurring gun violence in our schools. Another reminder of that question. Should our teachers carry guns? This school is actually an extension of my home. And when I step through these doors in the morning, I now have 115 kids under my roof. Cody Patton is the superintendent at Harold ISD, a small rural school near the Oklahoma border where teachers can carry. One of my teachers said, I would not be working here if we did not have that policy in place. Yearly firearms training is required. The district even offers a stipend for teachers who conceal carry. In the two days since Uvalde, there have been three reported gun incidents in North Texas. In Arlington, a parent on campus was arrested after his concealed weapon accidentally discharged. In Fort Worth, a tip led to the arrest of a middle school student who had a gun on campus. And in Richardson, police say a student was spotted carrying a rifle-type weapon. That student was later arrested on campus when the gun was found in a nearby car. Maybe if we could slow down things or deter it long enough for them to get here to save lives and keep our kids safe. Cody says the nearest officer is 20 minutes away. Concealed carry is their answer. It may not be for many districts, but it will be talked about once the dust settles, once the pain subsides. Uvalde needs healing. McKinney needs healing. There's a healing that is needed in this land. For some, that may be never. In McKinney, I'm Jobin Panikrit.